So, Crow, how do you feel about Erba? Fuck Erba. Oh. Oh, well, uh... Plan B. I guess we'll get somebody else, then. Alright. <laughs> Works for me. Where did you come from? Who even are you? Uh, you invited me here. You said that I was better than Crow. Because I'd actually agree to do this. He's got a point. This is true. I can't argue with that. Besides, it's probably just some kind of time paradox fuckery. We can resolve it by going through a terrible part of this video game. Which, funnily enough, is pretty much how Sarah and Noel resolve paradoxes in the terrible game. By, by doing... by doing little... puzzles, I guess you can hear... if you can hear the air quotes around the word puzzle, if you can. Oh, I heard them. Oh, good. Puzzles. Yeah. Anyway, I tried not to not to let that analogy just then get a, get too meta. I hope I succeeded in that. One thing is certain, we're going to be doing a lot of boring shit. Here we go. Lord knows we haven't seen enough of Erbo already. But have you seen it in a sandstorm? Well, there was a lot of sand all of the other times that we saw it. Wow, it looks beautiful. Why... why is the happy music from the one place playing in this? This is a wasteland, la 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 la. This is... this is like... Ugh. So, I might to understand that on top of all the terrible puzzle solving, and the terrible place, and the terrible visuals, we're also going to be learning about Mog's backstory. Oh, you know it. Why does Mog look so fucked up? Because he's a skeleton. What, 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 why? Because I put him in the skeleton costume. Oh. I was wondering, like, does, does he normally look like that? Nope, everybody's got costumes, especially the Moogle. Do you have an acceptable reason for not keeping him in the, like, the, the secret agent suit for the whole rest of the LP? Does annoying you count as a good reason? No. Then no, no I don't. Wow, that was a great battle. That was probably the most interesting thing that happened. Yeah, you just stomp on a lizard and something happens. I guess the one small saving grace, small mercy, little victory what is this place? of this place looks, is that finished. we're not doing clock puzzles. To build and then gave up. Oh, is there something even worse than this? I wouldn't call it worse than clock puzzles, it's just kind of dull and... Oh no, I mean, um, are the clock puzzles worse than what we're gonna do now? Oh, good lord, yes, yes. Clock puzzles are the worst thing in this entire game. Oh, but first, before we do even start the puzzles, we have to have a little scene. Is this, is this our first time coming across one of these? These? No, this was actually... This was uh, what we got in the first time we came to Ereba. Okay, so why so why are they having this conversation about it then? Because this is the introduction to the Mog's past back uh, subplot. But no, oh, whatever. Wow, it seems like in this extremely you know extreme different dimension, you move a lot faster. Or is that just me? Yeah, it's time travel fuckery. Ah. Uh, it's like relative time dilation in an amazingly compressed space. Good thing too. Oh well. They weren't they weren't even very interesting versions of those puzzles. No, they get worse. They do get worse. Wow. Why is that why is Mog so like condescending <laughs> when he said that? <laughs> is that too easy for you? <laughs> Oh, I thought we were going to ride that chocobo. We are not going to ride the chocobo. A chocobo disguised as a rooster. Parrot thing. Excuse me, that is actually a paradox chocobo? Um, I will not have you dis uh, disrage his name like that. <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes the whole running away from enemies mechanic just totally fails. 
due to I don't know what it actually is that it that causes it to fail. It's based on proximity. So even though I was technically f- I was f- like far away from it because I moved down and left, I was still like physically close to it, and it didn't trigger that I had gotten away. It has like an aggro range or something. I don't know. What is it, Mog? Did you find treasure or something? That's not it. I smell something familiar, Kubo. I know this. I smell something with that blob I call a nose. A long time ago, even before you met Lightning and Val. Why do Moogles even use smell for very much? You'd think that they'd be more reliant on you know magic and shit to detect stuff. Seems more fitting. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh, this is... <laughs> We're bound to find some sort of clue I smell pointless exposition, Koopo. Why, why is the clock one thing cracked on this outfit of his? Uh, symbolism. Because... He's a spooky skeleton. But... Oh. Wow, this is really <laughs> something, huh? This this one at least almost has something resembling a fuck you to it. Like they start they start doing these things with the holes in the middle of the. Yeah, the thing is that while you're like while you while you're bringing a line around like that, you can't jump. So if there are like huge holes in the floor, like there are right now, you have to actually walk all the way around it. And sometimes you're on a really tight timeline. Like this, I see, oh. <laughs> yeah, so the, it's, it's the closest that these get to being difficult. Again, the saving graces are unlike the clock puzzles, you don't have to figure them out anew every time. You can literally just try the same puzzle again. Yeah, these are just merely tedious instead of frustrating, I guess. That's that's not a bad way of describing it. Yeah. I, I like I like that the thing that it gave you was called a thrilling milestone. Oh, what are we fighting? Oh, that. That is a white chocobo, I think. It's like it's a shitty green chocobo. Well, it took hits like a bitch, pretty much. So, <laughs> oh well. I guess the fighting isn't really the point of this place. I always thought there were there was only one chocobo per role. So what is it? Also a medic. Yes, yes. White and green are both medic, and I believe green is the better of the two. Mm. But it has been a while since I had one, so I don't remember for sure. Can monsters change, like, paradigms too, or is that just for player characters? No, each monster has a single defined role. Like, like the, the white chocobo is always a medic. I see. Yeah. There's there's one exactly one instance across the entire game of all of and all of the DLCs in which an enemy does something that kind of looks and sounds like paradigm shifting, but it's not. It's like he pulls out a gun instead of a sword. It's like oh. <laughs> also, that sure is the name of an item. But it allows you to go back and experience all of these puzzles again. Mm-hmm. What what an incredible item! I I feel richer having found it. Slash a hand. Going to that Prince of Persia safe area looking thing. Yeah. I guess it does have the sand in common with that game. Yeah, I meant like the sands of time. Yeah, one. It's just like a giant pillar you walk into and then you save the game. Only at least that game had a somewhat interesting. Oh, I I'm having like random flashing visions of abstract bits of the game that don't make sense, and yet they make it work because it's like there are actual hints in there, and it's like you know also actually a little bit integrated into the plot that you're having these visions. It's like the the previous well, it's not really a recap, but it's the same idea. It's a bunch of disconnected cutscene-looking things. But they make it work, because that game actually has good writing and stuff. And it's fun to play, hey hey. It's everything this game isn't. I want to play that game again. It's a good game. Yeah. 
I mean, you don't see this guy, like, jumping on walls and flying off bars or anything. Instead, he's just connecting, like, pictures of chickens. Or chocobo, excuse me. Cupo? Oh, that was a... That was a little bit disconcerting. Please, please don't do that again. Sorry. How... I'm going to regret asking this, but how many of these things are there here? There are, in this area, I believe nine. Oh, wait, remember when we thought there weren't going to be clock puzzles? Fortunately, these ones look piddlingly easy. Yeah, these aren't bad. I, I, f I did that one without any cheating at all. I'll, I'll pretend to understand what just happened, but... Oh Jesus! We there is there is an there is an entire video where I ranted continuously for about five minutes about how bad the clock puzzles were. I think it was very entertaining. I I wouldn't really know. I'm not the best judge of that. God, this place looks so dull. Again, it is it is marginally better when it is not covered in a fucking sandstorm. Yeah, I'm sure. If you can actually see. Visual design was one of the only things that this game has going for it, and I, I do mean only the design, not the actual presentation, because when you talk about the presentation, you have to take the frame rate into account. But, you know, the, the whole... Especially since this is an area that was reused from a game that had a whole lot more time put into it, it all looks pretty good. Really? So they've done the only logical thing with their good-looking area and given it, like, a draw distance of an N64 game. And a yellow filter over everything. Yeah, thanks for the help, Moog or Mog, whatever your name is. Also, do you want to know a funny story? The, the, the grainy stuff scattered all around Erba isn't even sand. What's it supposed to be? Crystal dust or some bullshit. What? Why? What's the point? Like, you, you you think that they could have made it a bit more interesting than, oh, it's exactly like sand, only it's this magic thing that's not sand. And, you know, it, it, it rolls into dunes and makes storms and... No, it's sand! It's fucking sand! Like, what? why would it be even like a crystal thing that got, like, vaporized? No one knows. It's Final Fantasy something something crystal. Also, this is an example of a really bad claw puzzle. That's not even the worst one. Not not even the worst one. Wow, these these item names are really something. Well, I'm pretty sure Mog named them, so Oh, well yeah, that 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 might be why. I look forward to the more parts I look forward to more parts where you actually throw him in onto other different things like walls. It's very cathartic. You just throw him at a wall. Mm-hmm. Or into a, uh... A pile of crystallized powder. That's definitely not sand. You should... There, there should be, like, mechanics where you can do it repeatedly and he, and he gets hurt and sad. It'd be extremely cathartic. It'd be therapeutic. Or just, like, you know, like a training... A sort of, like, training option where you get to use all your attacks on Mog. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Oh hey, it's that other kind of puzzle that I actually kind of sort of like a little bit, even if it is just another kind of graphing puzzle. Yeah, this this set of puzzles is actually pretty good. Um, these ones introduce the white panels, which you can step on twice before they fall. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, that makes it even that makes it an interesting graphing puzzle. I mean, not like. It's possible to have a puzzle that's easier than literal computer science homework, but therefore more interesting. It's a very important distinction which this game utterly fails to understand. The will of the god to say. <laughs> Alright. I'll take your word for it, Mog. If it was the will of the goddess, that kind of makes it a bad thing, really, because, you know, look how the other things that have been the will of the goddess have worked out. Pretty much everything that the goddess has willed has been fucking terrible for everyone involved. Alright, 
So, uh, I apologize in advance for this particular part of the video. It took me an embarrassingly long time to get this right. Do you have to collect all those crystals? Yes, you have to collect every crystal along the way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Is this- is this the fir- is this the first time that we're seeing the teleporting ones? No, it is not. Uh, I guess I must have forgotten the last time. But yeah, no, that- that, um, there was about five or so minutes not pictured there of me just totally fucking up that one puzzle. Uh, oh god, the thing from the Prince of Persia LP is spreading. Hello, God damn it, I told you to stop doing that! I'm sorry, it's just so annoying. I, I, why'd they think that was a good idea? <laughs> I at least have the decency to not show you my spectacular fuck-ups. That's that's very nice of you. Deserted schoolhouse, eh? I can really t I can tell. Yeah, this was... This, it was like one of the very few areas here that... Like actually seems to serve a environment, well, not a, a narrative purpose in the environment. Maybe a, you know a tiny little bit. You never find out anything interesting about this schoolhouse, but Erba is the only place that actually even remotely feels like a place, like you know a location in a video game rather than just a map. It's a nitpicky, high concept distinction, but you know. Mog, what's what's the opposite of caring? I'm just trying to put words to my feelings. Does it not make you feel warm and fuzzy, Fedor? I'm I I do not believe that it does. No. Cold and spiky, more like. Definitely cold. I I cannot begin to sum up how cold I feel towards this. No <laughs> more more clock puzzles. <laughs> while 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 he's paused, he's entering the stuff into the website to figure out the solution. He's opening up game facts. Like, what the fuck do I do? This? Oh god, not e not even game facts. Somebody literally programmed an automated solver because these are dynamically generated. You can't just use a walkthrough because they're random. Yeah, like, the, and some of them actually change every time you fuck it up. So you only get one shot at solving it. I don't. I don't want to have to describe this all again because it would just be be repeating the thing. Go, go find. Go find the video where where we rant about these. It's very educational and possibly entertaining. Again, I don't really know. So anyway, now that we've cleared that specific one, we have opened the gate. Does it lead to more puzzles? But it also unlocked more puzzles, yes. Oh. Oh, so it's not like you open the gate that leads to more puzzles, it's you open the gate and more puzzles. Is it? <laughs> Mog, you're wrong. I don't think it was like this. <laughs> it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B for it all. Because, I mean, if we go through that gate, we will, in fact, get more puzzles, but... Oh, so it unlocks a gate to more puzzles, and it unlocks more puzzles. They even call this place the Ashen Sand. Not the Ashen Crystal Powder. Yeah. Probably a factor of that whole thing where all the places were designed before anyone knew what they were supposed to be, or what purpose they were supposed to serve. So, you know, somebody designed a, you know, a village in the desert. And then... They justified it in the plot, and then they were like, Oh, but I guess the sand is actually this other thing that looks and feels and generally is exactly like sand, but is not sand. Final Fantasy XIII in a microcosm, really. I feel like I was the only one around, Koopa. I was like, oh, you felt like you were the only one around? <laughs> like, oh, thanks. No. Probably a literal translation of the Japanese parrot dialogue tendency. Also, these constellations are weapons, whereas all the other ones so far have been monsters. Hmm. Does that mean you actually get a weapon or something out of this? 
Well, it's not like you get monsters out of the ones that are monsters. Well, I mean, do you get anything out of doing these puzzles? You get more plot and more puzzles. Sometimes only you, you only get one of those things. Uh, you get a fragment. That's something. One one hundred and sixtieth of the game's collectibles. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like I I don't know I I don't know if they just like this if they decided like oh we need three kinds of puzzles and they put three guys on it and only one of them put any kind of thought into how it would play or whether one singular person legitimately and sincerely believed that these three puzzles were good things to have in a game. Just padding, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, of course it's padding, but you know, you can pad a game with things that are actually good in and of themselves. Well, uh, I don't think this is one of them. No, it is not. We are in total agreement on that point. You know, it's just to my amateur per uh, you know, perception here, but... Alright, so... So now that we have finished all of the puzzles here, we have unlocked the ability to continue the Mog subplot in the next puzzle area. But... Ugh. Please be excited, guys. I... I'm mustering up all, the, all of the excitement of which I'm still capable. Which is... it is a little bit, but... Well, I guess we'll see you guys in Erba 400! Wait, what? The, we, we unlocked a gate to the same place in another... Is it still covered in desert? Or crystal? Oh, that's it. Fuck it, I'm out. No, wait, come back.